Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would talk to you a bit about treasure baskets. Um, I made one of these for Alex when he was about six months old as a Christmas present and it's been one of the best things that I did. So I thought I'd tell you a little bit about them and about what I've put in his basket and why I think you should do one too. Treasure baskets are a great way of encouraging heuristic play. Now, heuristic play is all about encouraging children to explore everyday objects. If you think about it, most of the toys we buy nowadays are plastic and they all look the same, smell the same, taste the same. They're not very engaging for baby senses. Treasure baskets are all about stimulating those senses, so thinking about touch, taste, feel, smell, sound. You don't need to spend a lot of money, if anything at all, to make one of these. This basket was actually given to me as one of Alex's presents when he was a baby, but you could use any box that you've got lying around the house. The objects that I've put in the basket are made up of things that I found in my house, things that we've collected for Alex as we've been growing this basket, and a few things that I've bought just for hygiene reasons, which I'll talk about in a moment. So let me show you some of the things that I've put into Alex's treasure basket. I have actually included some plastic things because I thought it was quite nice to have a variety of materials and actually plastic is something that we use every day so you can choose whether or not to do that. So I've got a wooden spoon, a whisk, a pastry brush, a paintbrush, these are great for sensory activities. Now, I actually got a brand new one of these because I didn't think it would be appropriate to give Alex one that had paint on it already. But if you had like a craft paintbrush that had just used poster paint, that would probably be fine. A feather duster. A washcloth, just a very cheap one. An old milk carton, so a bit of plastic. Some fairy light. Now actually I intended to get these out and put batteries in them because they're those uh, battery powered kind of lights but I've not actually got them out of the packaging yet but Alex quite enjoys playing with this packet anyway so I have left him to it for now but I will put batteries in there eventually. I've got a monkey drum which Alex adores. A little velvet, um, well it's not velvet, but velvet feeling jewellery bag, a nail brush, a sensory ball that I was actually bought by my sister-in-law, which is great because it lights up and it squeaks. Ready? Can't make it light up there. So it lights up and it squeaks. I've got some sensory bottles that I've made, this one's just got plain water in it, this one's got rice in it, and this one has got water beads in. I've got some dance scarves, these are great for playing like peekaboo type games, get your baby used to the fact that you can go and come back. A metal teaspoon, a little bag, a little canvas bag that I got from the health visitor when I went for an appointment. just thought Alex might enjoy putting things in and pulling things out of there. I have got a bit of brown paper packaging which Alex has enjoyed tearing up which is why I've only got a tiny tiny bit left now. A magazine, Alex adores flipping through magazines, this is our third one I think that we've been through in here. Um, he flicks through it quite a lot but he also likes to rip pages, that's quite a fun activity. And the best thing I have saved until last. This sensory blanket has been one of the best things that we have bought for Alex. I would say it was his favourite toy for about three months. He still plays with it even now. 
It's brilliant when they're still at the stage where they're lying on the floor and they like to play with things above them because it makes a really nice loud crinkly noise but it's also quite shiny. So now that you've seen what's inside my treasure basket, let me tell you a few things about how to use it. First of all, it's really important that you don't leave your baby or child unattended while they're playing with it. These baskets are not designed to be baby toys. They're all everyday objects. For example, my pastry brush, I discovered after I'd had it for a while, that the top actually comes off. So it would be very, very dangerous for me to leave Alex playing unattended with that because this could get stuck in his mouth. It's important that you let your baby or child play with these toys unaided. That means that they're discovering things for themselves. You're not showing them how these items work. They're just looking at the properties of them, what they feel like, whether they're cold, whether they feel furry, um, whether they can make a nice noise when they bang them together. Let them discover all of that for themselves. That's what it's all about. And my second tip really is to not leave this basket out all of the time. Firstly, because as I've already said, you need to be supervising them while they're using it. But also because it gets boring for them. If these objects are out all of the time, they're no longer interesting to them. They're no longer going to want to play with them and look at them and explore them. So I would put this away somewhere up high where your baby can't get to it and bring it down for maybe 30 minutes a day and let your baby look through it and explore it. It's really nice if you can continually update what's in there or just rotate around a few of the things that you have. Some people I know do specific themed treasure baskets so they might do a wooden treasure basket and then a metal treasure basket. You can do that if it suits you but I tend to just throw it all in together because then they're getting a mixture of different things. You can also collect things from where you've been out and about, like shells or pebbles or pine cones. Anything that you can add to your treasure basket will be beneficial for your child. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you're going to consider making a treasure basket for your child. They're really great fun to play with. They've been one of Alex's favourite things. Particularly, as I said earlier, the foil blanket, the space blanket. If you get one thing today, go and buy that. They're only a couple of pounds and they are so much fun. If you have enjoyed this video, please click on that like button for me and I would love it if you subscribed to me for some more content. I'm sharing a video every Friday and currently I'm also uploading a weekly vlog on a Tuesday as well. Thanks for watching. Bye! So thinking about touch, feel, taste, smell. Touch, feel, taste, smell. Yeah. Thinking about touch, taste, feel, smell, what they look like. All of those, what are they? Sound like. Treasure baskets are all about stimulating those senses. So thinking about sight, sound, I need to write these down. Out, Kindy, out, out, out. So now that you see what's in my basket, let me just go tap. Gonna make lots of noise now, isn't it? For the whole video. Should we just wait? Should we wait?